Okay, so the other day I like we walked into the house downstairs and it had like this really distinct smell. Everything's fine, like nothing is like leaking or anything, but it had like this distinct smell and I was like, ew, it smells like wet earth in here. My husband turns me, looks at me, and he's like, What? I was like, it smells like wet earth. And he's like, Yeah, you know there's a simpler name for that, right? And I was like, Oh, wet soil. No, it was mud. Mud. He let me go around the house for like two hours trying to figure out what word was easier. Okay, shot my stash number three. Um yeah, that's what we're doing today. So it's been a while since I like filmed one of these. I just kind of like took everything out of my makeup basket and like put it back into my drawers and we're just, so I don't really have like anything to talk to you about like right now. Um, like I said, I put everything away. So we're just going to go ahead and go on in there. I'm pointing over here because through this wall is my bedroom. Um, but we're going to go in there and pick out all new makeup to use for like roughly the next two weeks. Okay. 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 Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I left like the overhead light on. Um, so usually what I do is I turn the overhead light off in my bedroom and then I just like open up the blinds back here and let that natural light come through. But I always feel like when I do that, um, since the walls in here are like a blue gray color, it always just gives it like a weird vibe to me. So let me know like, if this looks better or worse or what and then also like i know the camera is a little bit crooked my tripod is broken but we're gonna make do with it right okay so i did leave like three things in my basket that i'll show you so this first one is this concealer by Too faced it's the born this way i have it in the shade fairest i don't know if that's even focusing on it but this is just it's one of my older concealers and so i just want to kind of like low-key finish it off then this is the mascara that I opened um, it's the Tarte gifted mascara this was my oldest like full-size mascara so I just wanted to go ahead and open it this used to be like my favorite like my go-to and I just I don't know like I put it on like the other day and it just didn't do for my lashes like what I felt like it used to so it's not terrible but it's not like one that I'm like totally behind anymore and then the last thing in here is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer it's just like their original I have some other eye um eyeshadow primers but this one is like the only one that's currently open so I'm just trying to like use that one okay whoops made a mess okay oops knocked the camera okay so from up here we're gonna first pull a primer which they're all in this little basket here so it's getting pretty hot and humid i have pulled this out and used it a few times it's the milk makeup hydro grip primer this is just like a little deluxe like mini size i just wanted to try this out um so far with the two times that i've used this i am just not impressed i it's not like sticky like i thought it would be um and it doesn't i don't know i feel like this accent accentuates my texture so we're just going to try to finish this off um, but I do also want to pull out this CoverGirl Outlast, um, all day matte. This is just what I have been using since it is so humid. I don't want to pull out like a hydrating primer right now. Um, but yeah, so this, and then as far as, let's see, I'm going to pull out one of my oldest BB creams. It's the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I have mine in the shade 510 Fair. So I think... I don't know how obviously like I can't really tell how much is in here but I have had this for about a year and I used it most of the summer last year so I don't think that it would be too hard to like finish this off I don't know if I could have it finished off in two weeks but I do need to like start using it and focusing on it but then just in case I do want like an actual foundation you know I'm gonna pull out this Too Faced one. It's the Peach Perfect. This holds up really well, in my opinion, in like the humidity and the heat here. It's a medium coverage though, and I don't really find that I can build it very successfully to full coverage without it looking cakey. Um, but I have it in the shade Nude, 
which I thought would be a really good shade match, but it is a little dark. So since it's summer and this is, you know, conceivably when I would be like my most tan, I need to try and get as much use out of this as possible before uh, fall and winter. So I think you can tell though, like a good bit of it has been used, but yeah, I'm gonna pull this out. And then let's see, let's do setting sprays. So I did purchase this e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set setting spray. I had wanted to try it and my setting spray collection only has three setting sprays in them. Well, it had two and so then I bought this one, so three. So I haven't even opened it as you can see. I am gonna open this and try it out. I've heard so many people rave about this. I got the bigger size, the 4.1 fluid ounces. So I'm really hoping that I do like this because this is a pretty good value, I think. I guess it depends on how long it lasts. Um, Cause like my Ofra one is like eight fluid ounces, I think. But yeah, so I will open that up and add that into the box as far as spray goes. But then, you know, I don't know if I wanna pull in like a lipstick or anything. I do have, sitting on my vanity, I have my NYX, whoo, knock the camera. I have my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. You can see, I hope, like the gaping in it. So it's just not very, like trap well we're not traveling but it's not very travel friendly like right now so it just lives on my vanity so i do have this lip product in um but as far as other lipsticks you know this l'oreal uh color riche in the shade upmost taupe is one of my oldest lipsticks it still smells fine but i think i just need to pull this out i am panning the bite beauty honeycomb and this reminds me a lot of this except this is like a bit lighter than that so i'm gonna pull this out and just try to maybe alternate between the two of them so there's that um so let me change the angles and we will look at the next drawer okay so did you guys see that video i posted about like makeup products i'm low-key panning <laughs> The whole reason for that video was for the blush in this palette, and I didn't even put this palette in that video. So this blush right here, I am low-key panning, and as you can see, I've repressed it once, well, I hit pan, repressed it, and now I've hit pan again. So I know this palette has, like, been in every shot my stash, but I'm just really invested in trying to finish this off this year, and I do reach for this highlighter quite a bit. I've reached for this one a little bit, and then I think this coral blush would be really pretty this time of year, so I do want to pull this palette in again. Um, as far as other blushes go, I've been really neglecting the blushes in my Pan That Face palette, so I don't want to pull anything from there. I don't want to pull in another concealer because I have two, one in a project pan and then the Too Faced one. Um, don't want to do any like liquid highlighters or anything like that. Setting powders. I am going to, I did in May purchase this. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. It is in the translucent translucent variety. Um, I'm gonna pull this in. So kind of my thought process is that I would work on like this for two to three months and then pull back in the CYO one and just kind of like rotate between them. These are the only two loose powders that I have in my collection. Bronzers. I am really trying hard to finish off that Essence bronzer, and then I have two in my Pan That Face palette. Actually, no, for bronzer, this is just gonna live in the basket for the remainder of summer. It's the Bonnie Luminizer from The Balm. But, so it's a highlighter, but it's um, too dark for like my complexion. So the way I like to use it is as a glowy bronzer. I really like how that looks. So I am just going to pull this out as far as bronzers go because I can layer that on top of other bronzers that I'm wearing. And then for like a setting powder, I'm gonna pull in this Pixie by Petra. So this is like their translucent uh, like setting powder. This, I have used it enough to like wear away the imprinting. I, I really do think that I like this. I don't know. So to me, Pixie is a little expensive for like what they are and what they offer. I think I got this on clearance at Target, but I do like this. It's a lighter setting powder and I feel like for this time of year in my area, if I use like a more like heavier setting powder, then my makeup looks a little cakey, but if I've been pulling this out and using it and I don't have that issue, so this will probably, again, like that highlight, like the 
you know, bronzer highlighter. This will probably live in the basket for the remainder of the uh, season. Okay, so as far as like ColourPop Super Shock shadows, that's what lives in here. Mascaras, eye primers, things like that. I'm not gonna pull anything out from there, but we are gonna look at highlighters. So I did actually pick up this Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey palette. This is really pretty. I have dipped into the shade Oh Honey and the shade Spoiler Alert. I really like them. I think this Queen Beeing, because it's like, it's got the apostrophe. Um, I think this could almost be a glowy bronzer for me. And then this shade Be Sweet, I think if with a light hand could be a really pretty highlighter or with a little bit of a heavier hand, like a really nice blush topper. Um, this Oh Honey shade looks a little off because when I got this palette in the mail, this shade was broken, and so I was able to repress it. It looks like it's starting to get a little bit of hard pan on it, but I do love this. It's like a very, it's like, and not intense, but it is like a pinky highlighter with like a gold like flip to it, so I have been loving that. So we're gonna pull that in. And then, let's see, I think that'll be it for highlighters. Just kind of play around and test out that palette. So this basket probably isn't all that exciting, but let's change your angle. Okay, so I just filmed my pan those eyeshadows like before this, and I mentioned it there, but um, I was like talking with my mom and she said like, ooh, I like this palette that you have. Ooh, I like this one, ooh. And so hopefully here in September, I'll be able to make a trip down home. So all of the palettes that she said that she liked the idea of, I went ahead and removed them from my stash because I wanted to see like, do I really miss it? Does it really like make a difference in my collection? So I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, but some of them that I remember is like the ABH Soft Glam, the Lorac Pro 4, Urban Decay Born to Run, um, I believe the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. So that's why this drawer looks a bit different. And then I've had these two palettes for a while, but they were living on top of my vanity and I just, I wanted more space on my vanity. So I can't close this drawer all the way now. These are the two um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes, but I like having these in that drawer, in this drawer more. So that's where all of that comes from. But as far as palettes go, I think we've been really successful with like having two palettes in and it's just been really like, easy it hasn't felt overwhelming so i think we're just going to stick with the trend of two palettes so the first one that i want to pull in is actually the Too faced sweet peach palette so this is what it's looking like in case you don't know oh i thought i was gonna hiccup it's a very like spring summer fall palette to me like i feel like this is a pretty appropriate time of year to like pull this out and try to get some use out of it so this will be palette number one and then let's see oh i'm not going to pull this palette out but i do want to highlight this so i picked up this black magic allure palette from uma beauty i believe that's how you say it i got this in the mail about i don't know four or five days ago and ever since i got it in the mail i have used it so many times and i just the formula is so nice like these glitter shades well they're not glitters the um, shimmer like metallic shades up here are so pretty these matte shades blend really nicely even like the dark green i haven't used the dark purple one yet but if you've seen like my subculture palette you'll know that a lot of those like harder shades i didn't keep from subculture so i've been really enjoying pairing this with subculture um, but I just wanted to highlight it just so, you know, in case you have been like looking at this brand, it's, their formula is really nice, really worth it. But that does not answer the question of what palette are we going to pull out? So I'm trying to think of like something that would be complimentary to like my pan those eyeshadows, my pan that palette, like the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Um, okay, I know what we're going to pull out. I have pulled this out before, I think, but it's the Juvia's Place, uh, the Tribe palette. This is just, I think, okay, I honestly think this could be a great all year round palette if you play the cards right, okay? But I really feel like this top row, 
makes it scream like spring summer so I want to pull this out and try to play with it and I also want to this does kind of remind me of that Uma Beauty palette just a little bit like with these darker shades and so I want to try pairing this with subculture and just see how I like that but yeah so I'm gonna pull out these two palettes so then I will add these to the basket I feel like we pulled out weight like significantly less products this time than we normally do but that's just I guess how the cards fall so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will just catch you in the next one bye